Hello everyone, it is Teresa from Teresa Silhouette Spot for all things art, where I love sharing art from my heart. How is everyone tonight? I'm getting off the alcohol, and you know what the alcohol means. No, we're not getting drunk. The alcohol means I am um, painting on some glass tonight. So, how cool are these glasses with the little cactus on the bottom? Aren't those fun? I think so. Um, so I've been pouring over this today. I don't know if I'm going to paint limes. I think I am going to paint limes. Maybe some limes and a few flowers. So, because they aren't margarita glasses and the base to margaritas is lime juice. Even if you're having, um, watermelon margaritas, you're still having them with lime juice. So isn't it lime juice, tequila, watermelon, ice? I don't think there's not much else that goes into it, right? Whatever. Anyway, so when I paint glass, you know, clean all the surfaces um, with rubbing alcohol from the drugstore, from the pharmacy, from the food store, wherever. So I have, I also have this picture. I don't know if I'm going to get to the picture tonight. We'll see. Hey, Corinne. I know we love Margs. Cool, right? Oh, PHFM is at work tonight. No margs. Um, anyway, I have this picture too. So I might get to the picture. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, yeah. So what did we have? PHFM was making something different this week. And I forget what we had. It had blackberries, but they were really yummy. You know, there's no... Well, mint's coming up now. Mint's everywhere. So pretty soon we'll be having mojitos again. But tonight I'm painting these marg glasses. Hey, hey, Eileen. So, let me turn you guys around. So, I'm thinking I have out a ton of paint because before I started, I didn't know what the heck I was going to paint. So, I have out all kinds of paint, and I have my brushes that I use on glass that I keep in this water bottle. And it says CJD on it, pure CJD, because that is near and dear to my heart. So, I think I am going to go with the limes and... um. Maybe some flowers. I did do some sketching. You might not be able to see it, but I sketched out a few things here, design-wise, line-wise. You know, there's a million things I could paint on two different glasses, but there's definitely not enough space. So I am picking up mostly this, what is it? Citrus green, yellow citron. And I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of the thicket on the end and I'm going to attempt to make um, half circles for my lime we'll across the top first now I love painting on glass because glass is very forgiving if I don't like what I paint I'll just go in and wipe it off and do it again what I don't like about painting on glass is that I haven't found what I like to um, lay out my project first. So that is an issue because whenever I paint on wood or canvas or hard surfaces or whatever, I like to lay out my design first in chalk or pencil and I can't do that when I paint on glass. So, oh, my husband, which is who the um, commenter above was talking about, PHFM, per perfect husband for me, makes the best mojitos. And we grow plenty of um, mint for them. So I think I'm going to try and figure out how to put three on here. And so I'm going across the top, to make a straight line. I'm using my dark to the outside and I'm swooping down because I just want these to be slices. They don't have to be the same size. They do have to be fairly round, but they definitely don't have to be the same size. So that's two. Pick up a little bit of the dark and I'm gonna put another one over here for three and once again I am just base coating these I will go back in 
and add a darker rind and the little white for the segments. Okay, so there we have those three on there so far. Let me do these two. So what's new? What's going on with everyone? What's new with me? I posted in the free painting group where we'll be doing a be another beach scene because it is summer and I can never get enough sunshine and water and beach in my life. So we'll be doing another beach background, but this time we're doing it with um, flamingos. Flamingos and some tropical leaves. That will be on May 20th, I think. Whatever that Thursday is. Um, we'll be doing that in the free group. And then my next live event, I have decided, is going to be for for the July. So you will see me start getting ready with a line of patriotic stuff I have coming up. Porch boards and door hangers and a surprise that I picked up yesterday that are so cute. But I'm not going to show those to you guys yet. I'm just going to tease you about them. Um, what else? Maybe some metal. Definitely some metal, but I don't know what kind of metal. And then... Um, maybe some glassware. I did see a really cool heart door hanger today that was painted red, white, and blue, patriotic colors. I thought that was cute. So we shall see. But that's the next live event I'm going to have, and that will be in early June. So like that to dry. So now I'm going to come back in here, and then I'm going to add some... Um, big leaves. Hey, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to turn this upside down. And these I'm just going to put in in between my lemon wedges. Sometimes it's hard to get a smooth line going when there's a curve in the glass kind of gets your brush a little hung up I'm not gonna worry about that okay there's really no that much of a difference when you paint on glass or paint on surfaces, except the glass is so much easier, you can just wipe right off. Now this one I wanna have, I'm gonna leave that leaf going behind the line. <laughs> I don't know if I wanna do another leaf. I'll watch it. So you try and you stay away from water when you paint with um, enamel paints. So even though I'm washing off my brush, instead of just, you know, regular drying it off, I'm really going to squeeze it out. I want to get the most water I can out of my brush. And I think I'm going to go into my orange because I want to introduce a little bit of color to here. And I have my leaves there. Maybe I'll do a flower here. And again, these are just the base coats that I'm putting on here. And because they're margarita glasses, I want them to have nice, vibrant colors in them. So that's why I have out these really bright colors. I don't know if you can see. I have out this yellow and orange and some purple, which I might not use, but we'll see. 
a little bit of red but I'm leaving them all out because those are all the colors I'm going to use when I go back in to add in all my details. And you'll see how much nicer all of this looks once I get to the second coat. Right now this is just the base coat. And but when you're painting on glass, you really want your first coat to dry. So when you go back over it, you don't pick up the paint. So that's what I'm doing. So I put leaves of my limes, my leaf, and some leaves over there, and that orange flower. But now I think I'm going to go in here and I'm going to pick up some yellow and put a yellow flower here. And you see, I didn't even wash my brush. But that's okay because when I go in and add some highlights and some low lights to this flower I'm gonna do it with the orange anyway so it's okay that it's already mixed in there <clears throat> and I'm really just going in and drawing the flower petals the same way I did the leaves the only thing that will make them different is when we go back in and add the details. Okay. Oh, that one got a little carried away. So I'm just going to get my paper towel and wipe it off and shorten it up a little bit. Easy as that. Okay. So let me show you guys. So this is the one that I already started. I put on some lines. I'm going to add the details to. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to work on this one. And I'm going to work backwards this time because I already have the yellow on this brush. So, I will work from the yellow to the orange this time, so I don't have to clean my brush. I try to be careful not to touch the glass where I'm painting, because if you remember when we started this, I cleaned everything with the rubbing alcohol to get all the dust and the oils from my hands off. So I don't want to go touching up the glass and getting the oils from my hands all over it again. I end up with one, two, three, four, five petals on this one. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. This one's a little bit out of shape. So again, I'm just going to take my paper towel and I'm going to go in here. I'm going to take off these two on the bottom that I don't really like. And it wipes right off. So I said, I like painting on glass because of that but then I like being able to lay out my design I don't always follow it but it helps to be able to lay out my design when I start I guess I could do that with tape maybe I'll think about doing that so I'm gonna go back to my green what do you guys think so far it was hard to come up with something, but I think these are going to look really pretty. What I really like is when I go in and I paint this picture, I won't be confined. Look at how big this is. I'll have a lot more space 
and I'll be able to um, paint really big, pretty colorful flowers. So I'm going to do the one set of leaves again on the bottom. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to start working on the details of my limes. Up my brush. So now you're going to really see how when I pick up the little dark on the corner, but I have mostly this light green in my brush, and I'm only picking up the dark green on the very corner, how I'll be able to get a nice rind in there, but keep the center light green. See that? I'm just going to pick up a little bit of the dark on the corner. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to lay my brush flat and I turn the glass as I go and then just fix it in the middle a little bit. And the same thing here. Just pick up a little dark green on the outside. I made this one a little wider. That's why I'm going back over it a few times. I didn't really like the shape of the bottom. It was looking a little too square to me. <clears throat> so I'm fixing it. Okay. Hmm. And now, because I know you guys are always anxious to see, I'm just going to work on this one glass and, oops, finish it. Okay. So let me get a smaller brush. I used this one before. I have plenty of nice fresh white out here. And I'm going to add the centers to my limes. Go back over here to one that's basically dry. Okay. Then I could use a liner brush for this, but I'm going to use this one. It'll be straight enough. There you go. I put the segments in there. I might go in, thank you, and make my um, dark, the rind a little bit darker with dark green with my liner brush. But for now, I'm just gonna keep it like that. So I'm adding the middles. Got a little bit on there. I'm just gonna go in. I'm going to pull the lines for my segments of my line. Then add a little bit of highlight up to the tops here. Here we go. And same thing over here. A little half moon for the center. Don't want it too white. And then I'm going to go in and add my segments. 
and a little bit of highlight to the top. So there's my line so far on there. And they look really cute. I have out a dauber. Where is it? I had out a dauber. There it is. Okay. So I think I'm going to add red centers to both of my flowers. I like the way the red pops. I want my these glasses, because they are margarita glasses, to be as vibrant as I can make them. How do you like that? Oh, I love that. Okay. I'm going to get my little brush again. Now I put my centers in because I don't mind if I, when I go in to add the shading and the highlighting to my um, petals, I don't mind if I pull on the red a little bit and blend it in there. So I'm going to pick up some yellow and some orange, double load it on here on this little tiny brush. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to use the yellow to the outside and I'm just adding the second coats to all my petals and when I go in and do the other flower I'm going to do it opposite and like I said I added the centers because if I happen to pull some red up into my flower that's fine. You know me, I'm always trying to turn my surface every which way. It's a little harder when we're using a, a glass, but that's okay. We'll make it work, right? So I want to make sure I keep my yellow to the outside every time. So that's one flower. Oh, I want a margarita. Yeah, me too. <laughs> margarita, mojito, um, dark and stormy. You name it. Okay, so on this side, I'm keeping my orange to the outside. And my yellow to the inside. Oh, just put my hand in something. Oh, need a little bit more yellow for this one. Okay, so we have our flowers and our lines. Still gotta add some details. We're not done yet. Okay, oh, I have to go over my um, leaves over here. Now the same thing, now that I've added this second color on here, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna pick up the light green so I can add some light green 
to the center of my flowers here, of my leaves. some stems okay oops now I have my red still and where it didn't pull out I'm just gonna go in here and I'm gonna lightly add a little bit more red to the centers of my flowers helping and pull it out from the middle so clearly you guys know if I didn't want to get red everywhere I would have but when I wanted to get red everywhere I didn't so now I have to help by pulling it out so I'm just getting a little bit of brush I mean a little bit of paint on my brush but I'm also dipping into where it's still wet in my center and pulling out. <clears throat> Look how pretty that even looks from the inside. Can you see that? I love drinking from hand painted glasses because I think they're so pretty. Even on the inside, the colors all show through. Isn't that cool? <clears throat> I want this to be a lot darker on the rind than it was. So I'm going back with my liner brush and I'm adding a nice dark line to the outside of my limes. There we go. A little better, right? See how it just pops now with the highlights on the top and the dark on the bottom? Look at that. Mm. So that's the one. Might add a little scrollies to it, I think. Maybe in between somehow. I don't know. What do you think? Is it busy enough? Is it good enough? I might go in, not with this brush, not with my liner, with this one maybe. Let's see, because you can see how it looks and always then wipe it off if we don't like it. So, let's see. I'm gonna add a little bit of this here. All right, I don't know. I might just go in and add, um, no, let's try, let's see. Oh, don't like that one. There we go. Because my green paint is a little thick. I'm going to try and Loosen it up with this little blending gel here.
You see I'm concentrating, right? And one more. Okay. Oh, here I am concentrating. You guys can't even see. You can see me making faces, but you couldn't see me doing my leaves. I'm going to pick up some of this nice yellow. I'm going to go in here with my liner brush and just add yellow into there. Right on top of all my little leaves. So I'll go in and add some highlight to the stem. And then I'll pick up yellow and I'm just dabbing it on to each of the green leaves on these little vines here. there we go last but not least I think I'm gonna go in with the red again and I'm gonna add some dots I think that looks good. So, there is my glass. Oh my God, look at those colors. Look at those flowers just pop. Oh, I love it. Isn't that cool? So, I'm going to paint the other glass and the picture, and then I will post the whole set for you guys to see. Thanks for watching. I love you. Stay safe and sane. And, um, you and me will have to get together for some mojitos or margaritas soon, right? Okay. Love you guys. Have a great night.